welcome to Vancouver College. My name is Andrew Poston and I'm a student in grade nine here. This is my second year at the school and prior I attended St. Augustine School. I will virtually be touring you around the school today. Follow me. This is the cafeteria, which we will come back to later. There are many great things about BC, but the feature that is most important to me is that it is truly a Catholic school. Vancouver College was founded by the Christian Brothers, who were inspired by the life of Blessed Edmund Rice. The essential elements of a Blessed Edmund Rice education are embedded into the curriculum and are truly valued at the school. We not only learn about them, but also take action on them through retreats and service. All the staff and teachers here display deep Catholic values and they are incorporated into everything that happens here at the school. They act as a North Star for us and teach us what it means to be a Catholic and help us grow closer to God. Now, let's begin the tour with the learning comments. The learning comments is a great resource for students here. Students are welcome in any time before school after school or during lunch to check out books. You will also notice that there are many computers in here, which allow for students to work on homework or print something out. The next room that we will visit is the TLC, which is located right this way. Anyone who would like to receive some extra help is welcome in the TLC. However, this space is mostly used for students with diverse learning needs to come to receive some extra help and improve in certain areas in which they are struggling. This room is also used as a location for peer mentoring. Next, follow me to the cafeteria. hang out before and after school during the winter when the weather is cold, snowy, or rainy. Due to COVID-19 safety precautions, this room is not in use this year. However, this is where all the middle school students typically come to eat lunch. Students have the choice to bring their own lunch or buy lunch from the cafeteria. This is a great place to socialize with friends and one of the only times in the day where students will be able to talk with other students from different homerooms. It is a great place to make new friends and get comfortable with peers. Now, follow me up the stairs to the second floor. This is one of the middle school classrooms, which has a very similar look to the rest. These classrooms is where all the, take, where all the classes take place, as well as the advising period. Right outside is the grade eight locker area, and it is considered the grade eight neighborhood. These are all grade eight lockers, and this is where grade eight students come between classes to grab their supplies for their next class, as well as socialize between classes. The grade nine neighborhood is very similar to this one, except it is on the third floor. This brings me to something else that I love about BC, the brotherhood. A defining characteristic of Vancouver College is the all boys community. The brotherhood that is present at BC is beneficial to many parts of life, 
including both educational and social. Boys act very differently from girls. They mature at different speeds, they think different, they act different, and most importantly, they learn different. The staff at Vancouver College are experts in teaching boys, and they know exactly what method of learning is right for them. Boys being surrounded by other boys allows them to share their thoughts more openly and relate to one another. Students here also get many opportunities to interact and socialize with girls from Little Flower Academy, as there are a number of socials throughout the school year, as well as many combined activities, such as various sports and school play. By sending your son to Vancouver College, you can ensure that they will feel a great sense of belonging and learn in the way that they feel comfortable doing so. This is the art room. Art is one of the choices for a middle school elective. We use a variety of mediums in this class, ranging from paint to clay, as you can see. This room is also used as an advising class. This brings me to my next point, all the extracurricular activities at BC. There are a countless number of extracurricular opportunities at Vancouver College, and there is something for everyone, regardless of one's interests. We offer a wide variety of sports, including basketball, soccer, tennis, rowing, wrestling, and football, just to name a few. In addition to sports, there are many different types of clubs, such as the First Aid Club, Model UN, Cooking Club, Reverence for Life Club, Mandarin Club, Dungeons and Dragons Club, and many more. Finally, there are the leadership teams, which include Student Council, Faith in Action, Bump and Bakery, and Junior and Mundians. Students at BC are always welcome to start a club of their own with teacher authorization. Here at BC, the opportunities are endless. Now, follow me across the other side of the hallway to the IT room. This is where the water fountains, bathrooms, and elevator are located. This is the IT room. This is also one of the elective choices in the middle school. The IT room always has its own Chromebook card, as you can see. It is a great opportunity for students to become more technologically oriented and familiarize themselves with the growing online world that we are a part of. This elective is framed upon the applied design curriculum. Let's go up the stairs and end our tour on the third floor. As mentioned earlier, this is considered the grade nine neighborhood. These are all grade nine walkers, and these are all grade nine classrooms as well. This is the balcony. Our teachers use this area as an outdoor classroom when the weather is nice. Also, students are able to use this area to get some fresh air and let out some stress. This is important because oftentimes, the workload in high school can get stressful, and it may make some students feel anxious or tense. Being out here allows us to clear our minds and have a clear head when we get back to work. Leading you guys through this tour has helped me realize one last thing that I love about BC, and this is the three different schools. Vancouver College is broken up into three different buildings, the elementary school, the middle school, and the senior school. Having the separation between different age groups allows students to learn without being influenced by younger or older students. This also allows students to mature at their own rate without feeling any pressure. Although BC is divided between different age groups, we are all still one community and we are a family. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope that this virtual tour has informed you about everything that Vancouver College has to offer. Semper Fidelis.